Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm going to just use your initials uh, AP, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. So you kind of see. My philosophy with TOEFL speaking is to address all of your issues. That's why I have a separate pronunciation part of my course that helps you deal with the delivery aspects of your TOEFL speaking. I also have a vocabulary and a grammar section of my course, which obviously helps you with the language use areas uh, of your TOEFL speaking. And finally, I have the speaking section of my course, which helps you deal with the topic development issues of your TOEFL speaking, right? So my job is to figure out exactly what it is that's holding you back from preventing you from reaching your target score and of course showing you how to do better. And part of it is is to determine what your pronunciation level is right now and specifically what kinds of problems you're having with pronunciation. That's really what I'm trying to do right now as I listen to uh, your uh, pretest. Okay, here we go. Diagnostic pretest for vowel and, con and consonant sounds. But you can't say vowel. Boat. Boat. Wrong. You said vowel, but it's vowel. So when you pronounce the V, you, you need to make sure you pronounce it like a V, not like a B, because those kinds of pronunciation issues are going to cause intelligibility problems. So be careful. Row, honor, over, father, thought. Okay. Lesson eight. Pat, boat, map, mope, tack, talk. I think you can work on the ah. Uh. You have eh, ah. Uh. Pat, pot. Map, ma. Not mop, but ma. Mop. And, on. Mac, book, lesson nine, bright, brown, royal, lie, loud, loyal, pie, pound. Okay. Lesson ten, gate, gate, late, let, mate, met, late, let. Okay. Dean, then. Not bad, so you got long, short, long, short. Lesson 11. Meet, meet, pit, pit. This is killing you. This is killing your pronunciation. Speak clearly lesson number 11. It is killing you. Be very careful if your first language is Spanish, if your first language is Portuguese, or some of the Romance languages from Europe, you're going to struggle, but you must master this sound. Lip, lip, sit, sit, hit, hit. Your intelligibility is zero here. I cannot understand the difference between these two vowel sounds, so... You want to write these down. I'll tell you in a minute what lessons you want to focus on, but let's do 11 for just a minute. Meet, met. Pete, pit. Leap, lip. Seat, sit. Heat, hit. So the E, the tongue is harder, and you almost kind of smile when you say it. He, heat. Meet, Pete. Leap, seat, heat. But then you have met, pit, lip, sit, hit. It's the, that second sound is what's killing you. Now I apologize, sometimes I, I try to get a little too dramatic, but I'm telling you, if it's a problem, it is a problem. You must solve this problem. That's part of my goal is to tell you what your problems are. All right, let's keep going. Lesson 12. Luke, 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 took, tall, tall, cloud, cool. No, it's not cloud, it's could, could cool. So I think number 12, to the use, the U vowel, you're having some trouble, so look, Luke, luck, took. 
Tool. Tough. Could. Cool. So you're having some trouble differentiating among those three sounds. Lesson 13. Match. Mash. Sheep. Sheep. No. I'm having trouble there. Sheep. 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 And what is that? Lesson 13. Feature. Fisher. Feature. Notice the T-U is actually a C-H sound. Feature. So you can also learn what's also interesting in the pronunciation part of my course. You can associate the sound spelling patterns of American English. So you can learn how certain spelling patterns, they actually cause certain words to be pronounced in certain ways. Shaft. Shaft. Sheer. Sheer. Not good. Lesson 13 also, very serious trouble for you right now. Especially when you have the CH maybe in the middle and at the beginning of the word, you're having trouble pronouncing those clearly. Lesson 14. Off. Off. Half. Half. Fine. Vine. You're, you're trying to, but fine. Vine. Fine. Vine. No, you're saying fan ban. I'm saying fan van. Van. So the, the V when it's at the beginning of the word, you're not clearly pronouncing that 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 consonant sound there. So you have to be careful about that. Wafer. Waver. Listen fifteen. I would say wafer, waver, waver. How? Habit. How. Rehash. It's not how, it's who. Who. How. Habit. Who. Behavior. Hate. Batman. Beaten. Now the glottal stop is one you can probably work on too. I'll go over it in a minute. Important. Writing. Hat track. Now you can pronounce it with a T, but I just want you to be aware in native speaker American English, when you have the T in the middle, we pronounce it more as a glottal stop, not as a T. So you can go to the lesson 15 to learn more about it. So let me just go over the words for you, then you can practice more when you go to the specific lessons. You're saying Batman. I'm saying Batman. You say bitten. I say bitten. You say important. I say important. You say brightening. I say brightening. You say hat rack. I say hat rack. You say threatened. I say threatened. You see what I'm saying? So that glottal stop, I think you can work on. Lesson 16. Major. Major. Fragile. Fraser. No, having trouble here. It's that second sound. Measure. Fraser. Fraser. Legion. 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 Engine. Azure. 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 Arch. Asia. So the last sound, Asia, you're okay with that, so you know how to pronounce it there. But I still think that second sound in lesson 16, it's a palatal consonant. You need to work on improving your pronunciation of that. Lesson 17. Now, if you're like me, you should be taking some notes right now. You should be writing down some of the comments I'm giving you here, right? And then you know what to do when you're studying in the pronunciation part of my course. I'm telling you, a lot of students don't realize, most TOEFL instructors don't realize that if you cannot improve your pronunciation, if I cannot help you address your pronunciation issues, you're going to have difficulty reaching your TOEFL goal. That's the truth. A lot of people won't tell you that, but I'm telling you that right now. You need to speak more clearly. And that's going to help you a lot on the speaking section of the TOEFL exam. Cake. Cab. Sink. Sag, game, game, cup, gap, lake, lake. Now the last one is lake, lag. Now maybe 
what you need to realize with this lesson, you're going to see a pattern here. Typically, when you have a voice consonant at the end of a word, a voice consonant means when you say it like the g, g, there's vibration in the vocal folds here, AP. When that voice consonant's at the end of the word, the vowel which precedes it's longer. Now, on the other hand, when a voiceless consonant is at the end of a word, typically we do not, uh, the vowel sound which precedes it is shorter. So then, if we look at some examples in lesson 17, that what you just did here, you say sink, sag. You say lake, lag. Cake, keg. You see what I'm saying? So that's something you want to think about. All right, let's keep going. Turn it in. Lean. Rear. Better. Luggish. Grove. Rugged. Rugged. Luggage. Rugged. Other. Right. Light. Committed. Not bad. Lesson 19. Pace. Base. Flap. Flap. Cap. Cav. Lap, lap, pay, pay. Again, we got to go back to the rule I just told you from lesson 17. The P is a voiceless consonant, the B is a voice consonant. When the P is at the end of the word, the vowel is shorter. When the B is at the end, the vowel is longer. So then you say, flap, flab. Cap, cab. Lap, lab. You see what I'm saying? So that's lesson number 19. Lesson 20. Lies. Lies. Sip. Sip. Not pronouncing the Z with enough vibration. So, lice. Lies. Sip. Zip. Zoo. Foo. Mace. Sue. Zoo. Mace. Elisa. Elisa. Maze. You have mace, maze. Now I wonder if you if you are from Spain. I don't know. I B. Listen to any lies, lies, sip, sip, su, fu, maze, maze, Elisa, Elisa. Now you might be from Spain. I might be wrong on this. But in Spain, when they speak Spanish, when they put the Z in the middle, they might say representación. They sometimes, the, the Z may sound like a TH sound. That's a certain dialect, I think, of Spanish as it relates to Spain. But in English, you definitely don't want to do that. That's going to kill your pronunciation. So be really careful on that. So I'm going to go ahead and write down this lesson, too. Lesson 21. Multiple, Robert, example, pressure, principle, number, people, philosopher. Good, perfect. Lesson 22, volcanism, writing, maximum, question, summon, reason, cousin, often. Lesson 23, tip, dip, cart, cart, tight, tide, train, drain. Fat, fat, team, dream. Not bad. The only thing I'm going to recommend here is the T and the D again. The T is a voiceless consonant. The D is a voice consonant. When the T is at the end of the word, the vowel which, which precedes it is a little bit shorter. When the D is at the end, the vowel which precedes it is a little bit longer. So then you say tip. Actually you say cart, card. Tight, Tide. Fat. Fad. You see what I'm saying there? Hold on a second. If I don't move around a lot, the lights turn off. Go figure. Who knows? Crazy. All right, let's keep going. Listen 24. Tight. Die. Breathe. Breathe. No, 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 no. The TH. The tongue's between the teeth here. Thigh. Thy. Tet. Tit. Trove. Trove. 
worth, worth. It seems like you're okay at the end. You said worth, worthy, but for the most part, 90% of lesson 24, you're not pronouncing the TH sound correctly, so I'm going to write this one down. So what do we know now? We know that you have trouble. You have delivery trouble. You have pronunciation problems with American English, right? So what do you do? You need to focus on these lessons. You might want to write these down. I did. So you have lesson number 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 23, and also lesson number 24. Those are the specific lessons that you want to work on right now. It's very, very important for you. Now, I recommend you go through all of my pronunciation lessons, but you should focus on these the most. Right? Now, think about this for a minute. Now, in order to use my course, there's a couple of options you have here. Now, for $45 a month, you can send me a speaking practice test every day. Here's my key. You can't put more than 60 minutes or 60 seconds of audio on a day-to-day -day basis. That's it. You can't go beyond that. Because when you, whatever you post, I have to listen to, I have to analyze, I have to give you feedback on those 60 seconds. So I have to keep my course inexpensive. So here's what you can do now. If you want to post any of these lessons I just outlined, lesson 8 all the way to 24, any of these, you can post these in, the, in my Voxipot discussion group. You can certainly do that. Now you can also send me speaking practice tests every day, but here's my rule. No more than 60 seconds of audio on any given day. You can't do more than that. Now, if you want to do three minutes or four minutes every day, you have to pay an additional $400. I know it's expensive, but it takes me a lot of effort and a lot of time to listen to what you post. Think about what I just did here. I'm still talking to you, right? I haven't even gotten to Part B yet. You see what I'm saying? So it takes a lot of time for me to listen to what you're saying and to give you the appropriate comments. Because my job is to help you solve your speaking issues. That's really what I need to do. Okay, so I hope you kind of understand what I'm saying. So if you don't want to pay any more money for my course, just keep it the way it is. Don't send me more than 60 seconds of audio on any given day. Now, if you do some pronunciation practice in my Voxipop group, tell me what lesson it is. You might say lesson 8, lesson 11, lesson 23 or whatever. Now, if it's a speaking practice test, tell me what number it is so I kind of know what I'm dealing with. I like to know what the practice test is before I listen to it. Okay? All right, let's keep going. Question number one. What is your educational background and your work history? I have a bachelor degree in business administration. Okay. Oka, that's a university in my country, Salvador. And my work history is also here in my country. I have been working for a lifetime in my family business. Okay. And also, I have worked for around seven years in two technology companies. Uh, the companies are computer sales bases and the brands of Dell. And okay, so you're giving me some good information. Know, laptop and desktop computers. Question number two, why it is important for you? That's that ooh sound again. I already indicated that's a problem. So question number two. Question two. To improve your speaking and pronunciation abilities of American English. Again, not abilities, but abilities. My abilities. That's that speak clearly lesson number 11. Um, that's important for me because I'm trying to make a change in my career okay and I'm trying to move to the United States all right working as a teacher okay for Texas I am I'm trying to get a I would say working as a teacher in Texas not for Texas now if you say for you might say for the Houston school district in Texas, I might say, so I'd be a little more specific if I use the word for there. Education, 
And for that, one of the requirements is having the 26 grade on the TOEFL test. Again, 20, not six, but 26, 26. And I'm still unable to have it. I just achieved 23 one time. Two not 23. 20. You want to say 23. Make sure the tongue's between the teeth. That's a sound that we indicated is a problem for you right now. So the other two times I had the test. Question number three. What do you hope to achieve? Question number three. Three. In this course, I hope to achieve my required uh, score of 26 or more in order to be able to get the certification and move on. All right. So it's not going to be easy because you got considerable pronunciation problems. So these are some things you got to work through. And it's my feeling, I believe right now, I'm telling you right now, one of the main reasons you cannot get past the 26 is because of your delivery, specifically your pronunciation. And I've detected quite a few problems in here, and that's what I'm doing in this video. So what you do is you start going through these lessons, practice the exercises, do the voice recordings. If you want, you can post some of these at my Voxypop discussion group. I will be happy to listen to them and comment on them. Just remember my rule, 60 seconds or less. Don't do anything longer than 60 seconds. All right, so now my next goal is to give you an intelligibility score. So on a scale of 1 to 7, 1.1 is high beginner of American English. 7 is a near native speaker. The good news is you're pretty comfortable. You have pretty good grammar. You have good vocabulary. You understand how to explain and develop your ideas and all of that. So I like your speaking. You have delivery problems, and that is why I'm going to put you at about 4.1 out of 7, high intermediate level in your speaking abilities of American English, right? So my recommendation in my course is by the time you get to my, my post-test at the end of the course, you should be at 5.1 or higher on my intelligibility scale. That's, that's the goal that you're looking for. All right, so I think I've given you a lot of good comments here. Uh, remember that, that improving delivery is more than just any online course than any book. What you're doing right now, you're watching a lot of TV. I recommend watch a lot of movies. Uh, make sure that you're talking to native speakers as much as you can. Even if you have to Skype and get them on the Internet, do it. Do whatever it takes to get more speaking practice. What's going to happen is, eventually, your delivery will get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, and then finally, you're going to reach your score of 26. It will happen. I know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. The question is, when will it happen? Probably between one to three months, based on your issues right now that you got to solve. It just depends on how quickly you can solve these delivery issues and that will determine how quickly you can reach your goal of 26. All right? 